In this video, we will show you three profitable trading strategies using the Fibonacci tools. We will also reveal our number one entry technique for these strategies. Each entry technique will enable you to make strong entries with tighter stop losses and larger targets. Many traders use the Fibonacci tools, but most use them incorrectly. The most confusing part about the Fibonacci analysis is deciding the swing points to draw the Fibonacci levels. We will reveal our secret hack to remove all the guesswork and provide a mechanical framework to draw these levels. Here are the topics covered in this video. First, let's begin by understanding the Fibonacci sequence. What is Fibonacci? Fibonacci is a number series that was discovered by an Italian mathematician. Each number on the series is calculated by adding the last two numbers. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, and so on. The fascinating thing here is that if you multiply any number on the series by 0.618, you will get the prior number. Therefore, 0.618 is known as the golden ratio. So, some traders thought of applying this to trading, and the results were astounding. They discovered that the Fibonacci ratios could be used to identify the start and end of a price move. Over the years, traders have developed three techniques to achieve this. Number one, Fibonacci retracements. Number two, Fibonacci extensions. Number three, Fibonacci projections. Each of these techniques can be explored in much detail. For the purpose of this video, we will focus on the most popular technique, which is the Fibonacci retracements. If you want us to cover the Fibonacci expansions and projections, comment below. Let's now understand the Fibonacci retracements. During a trending market, the price generally moves in a zigzag pattern. We have strong moves in the direction of the trend, followed by pullbacks. These strong moves in the trend's direction are also called impulsive moves. An ideal entry can be made at the end of a pullback and the start of an impulsive move. The Fibonacci retracement tool helps us to identify these entries. Whenever we see a solid trending move, we need to plot the Fibonacci retracement tool from the start to the end. This gives us three levels where we expect the price to pull back. A lot of traders use different Fibonacci levels for their trading. But, through our experience, we have discovered that most pullbacks fall at three key levels. Once the price arrives around these levels, we can expect the price to reverse and move upwards. Similarly, in a downtrend, when we spot an impulsive down move, we can draw the Fibonacci tool from the start of the move to the end. We get these three lines where we expect the price to pull back and move downwards again. These three levels collectively are called Fibonacci retracement. Let's now explore the meaning behind each of these levels. Deep versus shallow pullbacks. Whenever the price pulls back to the 38.2 retracement level, it shows that the trend is strong. Every pullback is thought of as an opportunity. There is a level of excitement among traders to enter and capture a piece of the trend. Such strong trends are very rare, and most of the time, the price will pull back to the other two levels. So avoiding the 38.2 level is a good idea. The area between 50 and 61.8 level is known as the golden zone. Typically, the price will pull back to this area before reversing. A pullback to these levels indicates that the trend is mature and experiencing deeper pullbacks in price. However, a mature trend does not necessarily indicate weakness. In fact, such trends can last for a long time before reversing. At Trade Prime, 
we only trade the pullbacks to these golden zones. Throughout the rest of the video, we've exclusively used the golden zone for our trades and strategies. Please remember this going forward. As mentioned earlier, many traders need help with determining the swing points to use when drawing Fibonacci levels. Let's now solve this problem, the secret hack. To solve the problem, we will use a simple indicator called fractals. Fractals is an indicator that helps us identify reversal points. The indicator plots arrows at the reversal points. Fractals are of two types, up fractals and down fractals. An up fractal is created when the high of a particular candle is higher than the previous two and the next two candles. It shows a bearish price reversal. On the other hand, a down fractal is created when the low of a particular candle is lower than the previous two and the next two candles. This shows a bullish price reversal. To plot this indicator, go over to Trading View and click on the Indicators button. Then type in Fractals. Click on this indicator and your chart should look like this. If we keep the settings to default, the indicator will plot every minor reversal. That will end up confusing you more than solving the problem. So, we will change the settings to 5 period. Now, the indicator will mark only the strong reversal points. However, sometimes the indicator will also mark irrelevant swing points. Therefore, you can use this indicator as a beginner, but your long-term goal should always be to develop experience in identifying major swing points without the indicator. All we need to do now is look for a trending market and draw the Fibonacci retracement tool on an impulsive move. Here is an example. Here we see that price was in an uptrend, making higher highs and higher lows. Then we spot this impulsive up move. The move starts from this down fractal and ends up at this up fractal. So we draw the Fibonacci retracement from the start to the end. As you can see, the price then pulls back to the golden zone and reverses upwards. Here is an example of a downtrend. We see the price making lower highs and lower lows. So we consider the price to be in a downtrend. Then we spot this massive down move and draw the Fibonacci retracement from the start to the end. As you can see, the price pulls back to the golden zone and moves lower. So this is what we want to trade. We want to enter on these pullbacks as early as possible using the Fibonacci. But we will not rely on Fibonacci alone. We will look for other confluences to identify high probability trade setups. Now that we have covered the basics of Fibonacci, it's time to move on to the advanced strategies. But before we do, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss our new videos. Whenever we upload new videos, we always get asked about a specific time frame that a trader should use. We at Trade Prime use the 4 hour time frame for our trades. The examples shown in this video are also based on the 4 hour time frame. Strategy number 1 Swap Zone Confluence. Swap zones are one of our favorite techniques to add confluence to any strategy. Swap zones are nothing but levels of support and resistance. When the price breaks below a support level, it becomes a resistance level. Similarly, when the price breaks above a resistance level, it becomes a support level. Since the support and resistance swap with each other, we call them swap zones. We will use this concept in combination with Fibonacci retracement to identify trade opportunities. Here is an example. The price was in an uptrend, making higher highs and higher lows. Here, the price makes a high and pulls back. We identify this as a resistance level and market. 
Then, the price breaks above the resistance and makes this impulsive move. Once the resistance is broken, it has now turned into support. Now, we draw a Fibonacci retracement on the impulsive move. As you can see, the golden zone on the Fibonacci retracement coincides with the support level. Therefore, it acts as a double confluence. When the price pulls back to this golden zone, we will look for our entry using the technique discussed later in this video. Moving on to a sell trade. Here we see that the price was in a downtrend, making lower highs and lower lows. We spot an upside reversal here and mark it as a support level. The price then breaks below the support to make an impulsive down move. The support has now turned into resistance. Now we draw the retracement tool on the impulsive move. As you can see, the golden zone and resistance have formed a confluence. When the price returns to this confluence area, we can expect the price to reverse and move downwards. And as you can see, the price touched the golden zone and reversed. Now let's move on to the next strategy. Strategy number two, moving average confluence. Moving averages are a simple indicator with lots of different uses. One such use is that they can act as a dynamic level of support and resistance. When the price is in an uptrend, the moving average can act as a support for the price. Similarly, in a downtrend, the moving average can act as a resistance for the price. We will combine this use with the golden zone to spot high probability trades. For this strategy, we will use the 50 period exponential moving average. Here is an example. The price was in an uptrend as it traded above the EMA, and the EMA was sloped upwards. In an uptrend, we expect the price to find support at the EMA, so buying near the EMA is a good idea. Now, we spot this impulsive up move and we draw the retracement tool on it. The golden zone coincides with the 50 EMA. When the price pulls back to the golden zone, we can expect the price to find support and move upwards, so we would enter a buy trade near this area. As you can see, the price touched the golden zone and moved upwards. Now let's look at a sell trade. Here the price was in a strong downtrend as it was below the EMA and the EMA was sloped downwards. In a downtrend, we expect the moving average to provide resistance to the price. Then, the price makes this strong impulsive down move. We spot it and draw the retracement tool from the start to the end. The golden zone coincides with the moving average. Therefore, when the price pulls back, we enter a sell trade near the golden zone. As you can see, the price moved downwards. As a bonus on this particular trade, we also had a confluence of the swap zone, which adds to the probabilities. Moving on to the last strategy. Strategy number three, anchored VWAP confluence. Anchored VWAP is one of our favorite indicators at Trade Prime. We find it highly accurate in finding solid areas of support and resistance. Anchored VWAP is a tool that plots the VWAP from a selected starting point. Like the moving average, it can act as a dynamic area of support and resistance. In an uptrend, whenever the price falls below the anchored VWAP, buyers will come in and push the prices upwards. Similarly, in a downtrend, when the price moves above the anchored VWAP, sellers will come in and push the price downwards. Let's combine this property with the Fibonacci retracement to identify strong trades. We see that the price was initially in a strong uptrend. Then, the price makes this strong impulsive move upwards. Now, we will plot the anchored VWAP from the start of the impulsive move. Then, we draw the Fibonacci retracement on the impulsive move. 
the Golden Zone and the Anchored VWAP coincide at this price area. Therefore, this area should act as a strong level of support. When the price pulls back to this area, we will look for a buy entry. And as you can see, the price bounced from the Golden Zone and moved upwards. Now, let's look at a sell trade. Here we see that the price was in a strong downtrend. Then, it makes a strong impulsive down move. So, we plot the anchored VWAP from the start of this impulsive move. We also draw the Fibonacci retracement on this move. We see that the golden zone and the anchored VWAP coincide at this price area. So, we expect it to act as a strong level of resistance. When the price pulls back to this area, we look for sell trades. And as you can see, a strong down move follows. So these three strategies will enable you to spot high probability trade opportunities using the Fibonacci retracement. Now let's discuss our entry technique to help you enter these opportunities. Entry Trigger Engulfing Bars An engulfing bar is a two-candle formation where the second candle engulfs the entire first candle. In other words, the high of the second candle is higher than the previous candle. Similarly, the low of the second candle is lower than the first candle. Engulfing candles can be of two types, a bullish engulfing candle and a bearish engulfing candle. A bullish engulfing candle is green in color. It represents a bullish reversal in price. We will look for these candles for a buy trade. On the other hand, a bearish engulfing candle is red in color. It represents a bearish reversal in price. Therefore, we will look for such candles for sell trades. Here is an example using the anchored VWAP confluence. Here, the price was in a strong uptrend. It makes this strong impulsive up move and then pulls back. We plot the anchored VWAP at the start of the up move. As the price starts to pull back, we draw the Fibonacci retracement. We see that the golden zone coincides with the anchored VWAP. So we expect the price to find support here. When the price reaches near the golden zone, it creates this bullish engulfing candle. The big green candle covers the entire red candle. It is a bullish engulfing candle, indicating that the price might reverse upwards. Here is a sell trade using the swap zone confluence. The price was in a strong downtrend as it moved lower. We spot this reversal point and mark it as support. Then, the price moved lower, creating this impulsive move. The move broke the support level and turned it into resistance. Now we draw the retracement tool on the impulsive move. The resistance zone coincides with the golden zone. So, we expect the price to face strong resistance around this area. When the price arrives at the golden zone, it creates this engulfing candle that signals a downside reversal. A sell trade could be initiated here. And as you can see, the price moved lower after our entry. This is just one of the candlestick patterns we use in trading. If you want us to create a dedicated candlestick trading course, comment candlesticks below. That brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our new videos. See you soon.